Hello everyone. Thank you for clicking. Today let us learn the application of simple formula of mathematics to calculate the capacity of a water tank. Water tank is mostly of two types. Cylindrical water tank and cuboidal or cubic water tank. Water tank is mostly constructed in the shape of a cube or a cuboid. In order to know the capacity of a water tank, first of all, we need to know how to measure a water tank. It is important to note that we need to measure only the inner walls of the water tank, as water is contained within the inner walls, which means we need to know the inner length, inner breadth, and inner height or depth of the water tank. The formula we require here is knowing the volume of a cuboid. Volume of a cuboid is defined as length into breadth into height. Let me now explain you three simple steps to calculate the capacity of a water tank, if the measurement is taken in feet. First, find the volume of the cuboidal tank, that is, length into breadth into height. Second step is to multiply the volume with 28.32. You must be wondering why we choose 28.32 in particular. We choose this particular number 28.32 because 1 cubic feet equals 28.32 liters. Your answer will now be in liters. Always remember that you are to take the measurement of the inner walls of the water tank, not the outer walls. Let us now take a simple example to show the application of volume formula to calculate the capacity of a water tank if the measurement is taken in feet. If you have a water tank or build a water tank of length 10 feet, breadth 6 feet, and height or depth 5 feet, how much can the water tank hold? Like we have mentioned earlier, the formula we require is knowing the volume of a cuboid. First, find the volume, that is, length into breadth into height, which in our case is 10 into 6 into 5 equals 300 cubic feet. Second step is to multiply the volume with 28.32. So, we multiply 300 into 28.32, which gives 8,496 liters. This is a simple method to calculate the capacity of a water tank if measurement is taken in feet. To make it easier to understand, let us check this in our calculator. 10 into 6 into 5 equals to 300. 300 into 28.32 equals to 8496, which is 8496 liters. But if the measurement is taken in meters, we use the same formula, but we replace the value 28.32 by 1000, because 1 cubic meter equals 1000 liters. Let us take an example by considering the units of measurement in meters. If your water tank is of the dimension, or you construct a water tank of length 5 meters, breadth 3 meters, and height or depth of 2 meters, what will be the capacity of the water tank? We shall use the same formula. First, find the volume of the water tank. 5 into 3 into 2 equals to 30. Since the measurement is done in meters, we have to multiply the volume by 1000. So 30 into 1000 gives 30,000. This means the water tank shall contain 30,000 liters. Using the same formula, let us again check this in our calculator. 5 into 3 into 2 equals to 30. 30 into 1000 equals to 30,000 which is 30,000 liters. Based on the units of measurement, you have to change the value to be multiplied to the volume. The three common units that are used in measuring water tank are meters, inches, and feet. If you measure the water tank in meters, you have to multiply the volume by 1000. If you measure in inches, you have to multiply by 0.016. If you measure in feet, you have to multiply by 28.317, which is approximately 28.32. Hope I have been your good teacher. For more such videos on mathematics and its various applications, 
Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you everyone.